The regime says it's trying to flush out Daesh fighters entrenched in this area. And the bombardment lasted for hours. Syrian tanks rolled into neighborhoods surrounding a Palestinian village of Yamuk south of Damascus. It is a strategy regime leader Bashar al-Assad uses to regain control of rebel-held areas. Similar bombardments have taken place in Aleppo and eastern Ghouta. The areas have been bombed with such intensity that retreating rebels have spoken of surrendering due to the pressure being placed on civilians. In another neighborhood north of Damascus, another enclave falls to the regime. Syrian state TV says more than 3,000 rebels and their families have been bust out of the Kalamun region. All this takes place as UN ambassadors gather at a Swedish farmhouse to talk about world affairs. Situations like Syria, we're not having that much um, success. We're still deadlocked. And so retreats like this are very important for us to get away from New York sometimes and discuss these things in a way that we can really try and find a solution. Third country issues and the issues the Security Council deals with, we are determined, as Gustavo said, to try and find workable solutions. So we will keep doing that with our Russian colleagues. So this meeting is more a retreat. It's more about brainstorming and trying to pave the way for future decisions and recreate uh, unity among us. After several delays, international chemical weapons experts have finally made it into Duma. The delay has led to speculation the time was used to clean the scene after the alleged attack, before the team from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons arrived. Russia and Syria have denied responsibility for the attack. The samples will be taken back to the Netherlands for further analysis, which may give clarity on who may have been responsible for the attack. Philip Oweira, TRT World.